Hey guys, this is EJ's Adventures. We're like one hour out from uh, Manila. Uh, because of the coding, we cannot get into Manila until around eight o'clock. Last three, last two digits of our number is like three and four, so we're stuck. So, you can see this massive line of folks right here. They're uh, stuck as well. So you got families in the jeepneys, they can't. So everybody here, as you can see, is a pretty large group. Everybody's waiting. Families are waiting to get in. They can't get into Manila until after, uh, or the uh, National Capital Region, NCR, like they call it, until after 8 p.m. So, see all these cars, all these trucks? They're just stuck here waiting. So how long have you guys been waiting? How, how long have you been waiting? I know. How long have you been waiting, Dito? Uh, oh, looking for the shoes? Mm, okay. So this is crazy. This is one of the problems that uh, the National Capital Region and uh, Metro Manila has is due to the uh, oh, nice. large volume of traffic. The only way they can control traffic getting out of the city is having a coding system based upon the last two digits of your uh, license plate. So the 7-6 they get dudes stuck until uh, after eight. You can go in, no restrictions on Thursday. So because of that, these little uh, places, like an hour outside Station Rosa, are popping up. A lot of businesses, getting a lot of business because folks have to uh, hang out. People can't find parking because they have to just chill out for an hour, two hours before they can get into the National Capital Region. So what we're doing, we're uh, walking to Starbucks. We're gonna eat later because we're going to stay the night at Mall of Asia Microtel. So we're on the path to finding Starbucks here in this area yeah folks just chilling waiting to get in Yeah, a lot of companies are making a nice little profit because people can't uh, get into the national capital region because of the coding system. It seems to be working a little bit. Traffic in the uh, NCR, national capital region, is a little bit better, still bad, but it's uh, the best thing they can come up with. So what do you guys think, those that are watching this video from the Philippines, what do you think about the uh, coding system or those who travel in and out of the Philippines, what do you guys think about the, uh, the coding system? Think it works? Comment below. I found it! Starbucks! Got a pancake house. It's not IHOP, but we're typically used to in the US. It's a pancake house. 
a shell station. Max's restaurant, Max's uh, Krispy Kreme over there. Uh, they got Max's restaurant in uh, in the U.S., Hawaii, San Diego, bunch of locations. Shell. So everybody's just chilling until after eight o'clock. Hey, Kuya, what do you think? What do you think about the coding system? Is it working or is it not working? It's working. It's working. It's less in the traffic. It's less in the traffic. So you heard it from a driver. This is our driver, our, uh, and also our family friend. So he comes up to Manila quite often for his work, and uh, he can tell you firsthand that it's uh, that's working. So the family's all hanging out trying to find a place I think I don't know if we're gonna mom's gonna let us know what we're gonna do so again guys we're here chilling I think we're gonna do Starbucks later but again we're chilling wait till 8 o'clock whoops sorry about that these these boys okay guys Again, comment below. Let me know what you guys think about the coding system here in uh, NCR, National Capital Region, here, here in the Philippines. You think it's working or not working? Uh, this is EJ's Adventures out.